Greetings and salutations. Uh, our project took a Raspberry Pi and we set it up to perform man-in-the-middle attacks against printers on a network. Uh, the way that the Pi is configured, everything is automatic. You plug it in, you power it on, it figures out what its IP address and subnet mask is, then takes that information, performs a scan of the local network to determine what devices are out there, and then transfers those back to what we're going to call our home box. Uh, and this is actually what I have up right here. This is the window for our home box. Uh, we've just started an SSH session into it. And we're going to go ahead and just list out the contents of our home directory. And here you see we have our in-map results. And this is actually what the Pi has gathered up, uh, packaged, and then sent our way. What we're going to do right now, though, is we're going to go ahead and send some instructions to our Pi using our neat little script here called send sniff. Um, and we're going to feed this my address as the target. We're going to poison me, if I can remember. We are 8.29. Then we're going to go ahead and give it the printer that we're after. And then we'll tell it how long we want it to actually capture the data for us. And this is going to be in seconds. And so we'll say 300. And it's asking us to authenticate. So this root at localhost, uh, this is actually uh, connecting back to the Pi. Um, what we've done is we've set up a reverse SSH session. Uh, the Pi, when you power it on, establishes a connection with your home box, which you can then leverage to connect to the Pi remotely. Uh, and this is beneficial if it's behind a firewall or its address has been natted such that it's no longer public, etc. Uh, may not always work in every situation, but for most, it should. So anyways, um, now that the Pi has those instructions, it's got a task that's going to kick off here in another minute or so, uh, and it'll start capturing data from our workstation and, and the printer. Uh, and now what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and send our super important private document to our printer. I hope nobody steals this. My goodness, what's the world coming to? So we'll go ahead and hit OK. And there goes our sample financial statement. Presto. All right, so um, you know how we were referring to a reverse SSH session? Well, we're actually going to go ahead and get connected to the Pi. So we're going to pop over to our second screen here, which is just the home box. Go ahead and do a list. And hey, check it out. There is all of our data, along with the instructions again, and the in-map results, all that fun stuff. So. Uh, we're going to go ahead and pull this data down and take a peek at it using Wireshark. Now we have everything pulled up. Um, you can filter this using IP address or anything like that if you want. Uh, I'm just going to very quickly scroll down until I find what I'm looking for. LPD. So what we're going to do very quickly here is follow the stream. Where is it? There it is. And you can actually see we've got information up here regarding our sample, financial statements, all that fun stuff. Uh, and then, of course, the data down below. And I'll go ahead and save this off here. Data.ps. Get that guy saved. We're going to go ahead and open this up with Distiller. And it's going to go ahead and get everything reconverted for us. And you'll see we have data.pdf. And hey, check it out. We now have exactly what was submitted to the printer without the person that submitted the print job knowing we were there in the first place. Or at least you hope so. 